and generation phones from Google, it's the Google Pixel 2 XL. With the first gen Pixel, Google came out with a very solid phone, and although it wasn't flashy and it lacked a good amount of features, it was still a phone that I used a lot myself, and it created a huge hype train for what Google would have in store next. And this is what we got. As you'd expect, this phone has the latest and greatest from Google in terms of software along with hardware integration. Google Assistant is as strong as ever and there's even a new way to activate it with a literal squeeze of the phone. I actually found this kind of cool, it's one of the fastest, if not the fastest way to activate the Assistant. You can also adjust the sensitivity of it to combat accidental presses. I know a lot of people don't like this or find it useful, but if you don't like this kind of thing, you can just turn it off, or if you wanted to remap it to trigger something else, there is a way to do that. Link in the description if you're interested. So yes, software is Google's biggest focus with the Pixel, and it's absolutely fantastic. Android 8.0 Oreo in full effect with its great feature set. I did make a video running through everything that's new in Oreo, so I linked that below too if you wanted to check that out. But some notable things here on the Pixel would be Google Lens, which looks to give you pertinent information based off image recognition. It's very young, and it doesn't work all that well to be honest, but as time goes on, it will get better. There's the now playing function for music. It's kind of creepy, but it's kind of cool at the same time. So if you hear a song and you want to know what it is, the phone will listen out for it, and it'll let you know exactly what that song is and the song's artist. Now it doesn't get every single song I've tried with it, but just like Google Lens, I'm sure this will improve over time. It's really cool though. Overall, the software experience is pretty much unmatched by any other Android phone out there. It's smooth, or as I like to call it, straight butter. It's quick, lag is non-existent, and Google went the extra step to add a couple neat effects like when you move an application. It'll actually react to how quickly you're moving it, the app drawer bounces when you hit the end, and the app drawer, folders, search bar, and settings toggle shade will all change color based off the applied wallpaper which I think is a subtle yet very nice touch. Now let's go ahead and talk about the hardware because that matters too of course. The refresh design on the 2XL is nice, again some people like it, some people don't. Personally, I'm cool with the looks as well as the materials used. It's got mostly unibody aluminum taking up the back, then of course there's that glass portion which houses the camera. The back material is definitely something different, but I like it. It's textured and it's more grippy than the aluminum backs we're used to. Of course this means you won't get that same exact cold metal feel when you pick up the phone in the morning. And of course since it is metal, this also means no wireless charging, which is what I had hoped would be here, but unfortunately it's not. And I'm sure you're aware this phone comes in a white back variant too, also known as the Panda version. Unfortunately I wasn't able able to get my hands on that one, so I just went ahead and equipped White Marble from Dbrand, it's one of my favorites, link in the description if you're interested. And honestly, I think this looks better than the Panda version. Turning the phone around and you'll see the 6 inch P OLED display. Now this display is seriously the most talked about thing when the Pixel 2 XL is mentioned, and unfortunately not for good reason. Initially, it was about the colors. Google decided to go with sRGB, which is a more toned down, more natural looking color profile. A lot of people dislike this because I guess it looks washed out. I will admit it took me by surprise at first, but I didn't find anything necessarily wrong with it, and Google said if it really is that big of an issue, they'll push out updates with boosted color options. Since this display does have full DCI-P3 coverage, so it's totally capable of super vibrant colors. But of course, a lot of us would have liked the option at first. Then there's the color shifting. Basically, you'll see a different hue when you tilt the display. When you look at it head on, you'll see warm tones, and then the complete opposite when you tilt the phone in any other direction. Yet another thing a lot of people are displeased with, for me, I didn't find it to be that big of a deal since I don't use my phone in any other position besides head on, but there's more. The display doesn't appear to be as clean as other displays on other high-end smartphones out there. There seems to be a bit of graininess to it. On top of that, there's the burn-in or image retention issue. Android Central ran some tests and it appears to be a combination of both. But regardless of whatever it is, it's not a good look and this really shouldn't be an issue, especially this early. Now most of these issues are tied in with quality control, so it's not as if all of these issues are present on every single Pixel 2 XL. 
and apparently Google is looking into what they can, though not too sure what they can do at this point. In the time that I've been using this phone as my daily driver, I've been able to look past these issues and just enjoy the rest of the phone. In fact, some of these issues I didn't even notice until I started looking for them. I will say though that the frustration out there is justified. This is not a cheap phone and these issues really shouldn't be a thing. But for me, these issues haven't stopped me from wanting to use this phone and I don't think it should stop you from using it either unless you are super picky. I do expect better from Google moving forward. Now moving on to some great additions, water resistance and front facing speakers. The water resistance is great. It's great to see that Google added that and it needs to be a permanent part of every phone moving forward. And front facing speakers, while they're nothing new, we've had them on phones from years ago, it's great to have them back and they sound awesome. Everything that you do on a phone that pushes out sound is much more enjoyable because of the speaker placement. It's great. And I guess you can kind of call it a nice consolation prize for losing the headphone jack still really would have been nice to have had it though. Now like I said before, the phone is buttery smooth and very fast. Performance is great overall, and that includes battery life, thank goodness. The 2XL has a 3520 milliamp hour battery, which for me has been good enough for a consistent 6 plus hours of screen on time, which is excellent. It's better than my Note 8, it's better than my V30, and it's right up there with the best battery life on a smartphone, so I'm super pleased with these results. Now for what is probably my most favorite thing about this phone it's the cameras. The first generation Pixel had my favorite smartphone camera over every other smartphone released even this year up until its successor was released. This camera just continues to impress and if I'm being honest with you, this is the best smartphone camera out as of right now, it is really that good. Pictures come out sharp, detailed, bright and colorful. Dynamic range is excellent. Low light performance is very solid and there really isn't much else I can say other than the pictures you're able to get with this phone are fantastic. This of course goes for the selfie camera as well. These come out looking great and video is super solid too with very good stabilization, nice quality, you'll love it. But for Google, the main selling point of this camera is portrait mode. This is what other smartphone manufacturers have been doing but using two lenses to accomplish this. So Google said, ha, watch this. They took the hold my beer approach and what we got is pretty amazing. So instead of two lenses, the Pixel uses software, yes, software to get these awesome portrait shots with the blurred backgrounds we all know and love. Now it's not completely perfect or anything, but really what portrait mode is. And when you think about it, this is still in its young stages too, so expect Google to continue updating things to make it better moving forward. Bottom line, it's pretty insane to really enjoy the Pixel 2 XL. I know a lot of people get upset when someone doesn't completely trash the phone because of its display. While I'm not looking to defend Google in any way, it's not the end of the world and I do think the phone should at least be given a chance. There's more to it than the display after all. It's my current daily driver and it will continue to be so for now. I'm happy with it. So if you're looking for a big phone with water resistance, solid hardware, stereo front facing speakers, a smooth, pure Googleified Android experience, great battery life, guaranteed software updates for years to come, oh and the best camera on any smartphone as of now, then go ahead and give the Pixel 2 XL a shot. So what do you guys think of Google's latest? big phone. Let us know by dropping your comments down below. As always, we love to hear your feedback. But anyway, that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed.